What is up guys and now it is time for the unboxing for the NECA ghost face uh screen ghost face figure. Um I actually did want to be getting this figure for a while. It looks so cool. But um and and also because of the uh new screen movie coming out very soon and I can't wait to see it. So, here's the box. It has a ghost face mask on it. Um, here's the top of the box. Good folks at NECA right there. And this figure is for 17 and up. Not that it matters to anyone. On the side of the box, we got a nice picture of... Ghostface with his bloody iconic knife and the voice simulator thing that he used in the movies. And on the back we got a nice picture of him cutting off something. <laughs> and Oh, okay, so it looks like we got a... What is that? A mask glows in the dark. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's, that's gonna be cool. And we also got one with him holding the scythe and the bloody knife. Oh, and he's also got what appears to be looking like a bloody mask. Oh, okay, so you got different masks with this. Okay, so you got the normal one, you got a bloody one, you got the glow-in-the-dark one, and then you got... Is that the same mask from this one? This picture right here? Oh, no, that's a different mask. Okay, it looks like a burnt-up mask from what I'm seeing it. Um, but, um, on the side of the box, it's the same picture, and on the bottom, you got the crew responsible for making this figure. When did this come out, actually? I'm, I'm actually really curious to when this figure came out. Alright, it's not giving me a release date. <laughs> Usually... They would put a date on the bottom of the box, but that's not the case. Alright, so let's open this up. And inside, you get a nice picture of the figure holding his bloody knife. That is a dope picture. Actually, I like that one. And on the inside of this, you can see Ghostface with his fair amount share of accessories. So what I'm going to do... Is that I'm gonna get him out the box, so stay tuned. My scissors. God, I messed this box up, but it's okay. All right, We're not done quite yet, though. So just give me another few minutes. All right. So what usually NECA does with their figures is that they include backdrops, and I'm gonna show you guys this one. You know, they include these to display with your figures, so. Here's Ghostface's backdrop. It's a window with curtains on it. It's nice, but, you know, I don't usually display my figures with NECA's, um, 
backdrops. They're nice, but I'm just not the type to display them with. Actually, the box doesn't even look that bad. Just a couple tears, but nothing too big. Alright. Alright, so I got the figure in his clamshell still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all of this out and show you guys. So it looks like he does come with bloody knife, three bloody knives, different looks to them. Oh yeah, and I was right. Okay, so he does come with a little burnt up mask. Okay, that's nice. He comes with a fair amount of accessories. He doesn't come with a whole lot. Like, nothing too ridiculous. Alright, I got all the accessories out, and now the figures gotta come out. Alright. Why was it too hard? And for some reason, NECA include this. Um, <laughs> it was on the back of the figure in the clamshell, so I'm just gonna put that back. And it also came with a little plastic border for the smaller accessories, which the hands, the knives, and the voice simulate the smaller accessories, so they won't like fall out at ya so. claim show back in the box and we will take a look at the accessories first and then we'll look at the figure itself And I'll show you guys the damage of what I did to the box, actually. So, that is what it's looking like. It's not bad. Alright. I'm going to put the box in the back so that you guys can see it. But, I'm going to put the figures standing up. So not looking at him quite yet. I'm gonna look at the accessories first. He's gonna stand with the box. Okay. There he is. Okay, so he comes with a fair amount. So first I'm gonna start with the small accessories. He comes with two pairs of hands. Defaulted out of packaging, he comes with it looks like a more gripping hand and a kind of like relaxed hand. So it looks like the extra ones they're they're the same pair of, pair of hands except this one is is it the same? No, th it kind of looks like this one, but it's more closed. Like you see that, and then this one is more like kind of open. That one's more open than this one. But it's done in all black. And I'll show you guys how to peg him in if I can. Alright, he comes with the voice. 
simula um changer, whatever you wanna call this thing. I don't know how well that's gonna there we go. Hopefully you guys can see it. But this is the front of it, and that's the back. The back is just plain. The front of it's got like buttons on it. He would basically use this in the movies to like talk to Cindy. If you've seen the screen movies, you pretty much how the voice simulator works. But um, he's got knives. They're all bloody. He's got the iconic knife. I always liked the knife in in the screen movies. Just that curve at the tip of the knife. And you, then you got like the line. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like right there. I always liked that touch of detail in the movies. And NECA captured it well. But there's that one. And then he's got like a... What the frig is this one? <laughs> I don't even know what this one is. But there's that knife. And then he's got like a kitchen household knife. I really like the blood on all of these. I was hoping he would come with three more, like, like not non-bloodied up versions. But this is all. That's also great that they're all bloody. And then he's got the masks right here. Defaults it out of the package. He comes with the uh, normal mask. But here's the burnt up. This one. I, this this is the one that I actually like. It's all burnt up. It looks like it came from hell with this one for sure. But um it's a nice mask and I'll probably be displaying him on the shelf with it. Then he's got the bloody mask. It's the same mask, defaulted out of package, but it's got blood on it. Some blood on it. There's that one. And then he's got the glow in the dark one. I don't recall remembering seeing this mask in any of the movies. Let me know in the comments below. Because it's really been a while since I've seen any of the movies. Then last but certainly not least, he comes with his scythe. Which is made out of wood at the handle. And there's the blade. It's rusty looking. It looks like it's been just sitting and dusted for like years just sitting there and the, I can appreciate that touch of detail by Neko. So those are the accessories that he comes with. Like I said, he doesn't come with a crazy amount of them. He comes with a fair amount. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. And here it looks badass like i i liked ghostface in the scream movies like look at his outfit whoops look at that outfit he's got on this nice material for the cloak is great it's really great and then he's got like the boots the old rusted boots just like in the movies and then he's got the iconic scream mask. Look at that thing. I think the hood can come down. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is. I don't know if the hood can come down. I mean, that again, it is supposed to if you're going to put on the masks of your choice. But he he's an awesome figure and I'm... He was only about 30 bucks at Walmart, and I am glad that I purchased him. I'm very glad. And I, I will be doing size comparisons with him, too. But, um, for posability, if I could show this well enough, he does have a kind of a ball joint and head, but then it's on a cloak hood. But let me see if I can just pull the hood off. Oh, the hood can come off okay so it's not like on a ball joint but his head will move fair like side to side up and down is that that's as far up as he can look 
and that's how far down he can look. Um, the arms, they do bend, and I really do like how, what do you call this, on the sides of the cloak, under his armpits, um, I don't know, the shredding of the cloak, I guess, and his arms do bend like that, um, and he does have a wrist swivel, but then he is a new figure, so he's going to be pretty tough. To move around, so I'm not gonna like pressure him enough. But um, he does have a fair amount of pull's ability. Like he can also move the legs and bend at the knees, like that. <laughs> I'm doing this with one hand. I'm trying my best. I swear, I swear. And does he have toe movements? Because that kind of helps when you're displaying your NECA figure. He, he does. Cool. Okay. He does. Um. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to display him with the masks. I'm going to show you guys the masks and what he looks like. So simply, it simply comes off. Okay, so it's, it is on a ball peg. So let me just show you guys. That and the head, the head just comes off very easily. So let's let's get uh the bloody mask, and we're gonna display him with the. First, let me get his hood up. There we go. And it looks like he can hold the knife with his. Gripping hand? Because I know it's not going to work for the other ones, so let me grab his first one. Oh, wow, that looks great. With the bloody mask, too. Let me bend his arm and get something going on with him. It would be actually really cool if NECA released a Cindy figure. To display with your ghost face. But look at that. Yeah, he's got the bloody mask on. I don't know how well that's gonna come. There we go, you can see it now. And he's got the bloody knife. That looks great, dude. That Yeah, I think I'm gonna be displaying... Well, for first options, I'm gonna be displaying him with the bloody mask with this knife. And then, of course, I'm gonna change it throughout... But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and compare him with some of my other NECA figures. So, let me just, and he fell down. Um, let's see, oh, I got this guy. And, oh, what I just dropped, it was something. I'll pick it up later. But, um, I got two NECA figures that I'm going to be display um, comparing him with. If I could just get him to stand up. He is a new figure, so he's not going to, like, want to stand up. He's got to, like... Like, what's the word? He's got to, like, get used to standing up on the shelf. Or anything, on that matter. <clears throat> I'm trying to get him to stand up. So, at the point, to the point where he's not leaning back against the, um, box. Now we got our boy posed. He does not want to stand up. And his knife fell down. Okay. Alright, now he's standing up. Alright, I'm just gonna put the knife down. But um he fell down again. There we go. 
don't fall down. All right, so I don't think this is even like a good space for any of my figures to stand up. Please, go f ghost face, don't fall down. But, um, here he is compared with my NECA Freddy vs. Jason, Jason figure. He is small, like, and they're pretty up to scale, though. And I would, I would love to see a ghost face vs. Jason movie. And look at that scaling. Pretty good. Alright, and here he is. Let me just move this guy out the way. Here he is. I mean, when it comes to NECA figures in general, I like to pick up their horror figures. But, um, here he is displayed with the Bride of Chucky. Chucky. That came with, that also came with, um... He was a two-pack with the Bride of Chucky Tiffany figure. But, it is accurate size. I mean, Chucky is a doll, so... It's accurate. And Ghostface is just a human being, so... It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And here's all three of them... Together. Uh, Jason's the tallest, so... You can see the scale from Chucky... Ghostface to Jason... It's pretty good, and I like the scale with them. So, in conclusion, we're going to display him with the scythe. With the burnt mask, I guess. Let's see how he looks with that first, and then switch it if it's not that good. But then again, the scythe might work with the burnt mask. Let me get the scythe. It should fit in his hand. Oh, it does fit in his hand. Okay. We got something going on. Alright. That scythe actually looks pretty big when he's holding it. I, I actually thought it would come down to, like, like, the top of his head or something. But, uh, it's, it's a good sizing. Let me get his other hand. Get him like he's actually holding it. There we go. I think that's how he's supposed to hold it. He actually looks good with the burnt up mask with the scythe in his hands. But uh, let me actually get Chucky and Jason out the way first. This is a screen. This is a screen ghost face video, not Jason and Chucky video. I don't know, Chucky dropped something when I picked him up. But, um, for conclusion, let me actually get his knees to kind of bend. There's something going on. Because he's about to scythe someone. Gut someone with the scythe. He is not going to stay and hunt this thing unless he's leaned back against his box. But, um, there he is with the scythe in his hands. He, he's actually holding it pretty good, so... There we go. Now we got him holding the scythe with both of his hands. He's like waiting patiently for his victim. There we go. Look at him. And he's got the burnt mask on. He, he, it does match with the weapon, actually. So, yeah, he's, he's a great looking figure. And I'm actually, like I said, I'm, I am glad that I picked him up. And this is how I'm going to display him on the shelf with, um, he's going to be displayed with all my other horror NECA figures. Um, like I said, man, I really hope NECA comes to release a Cindy figure from Scream. Because, she would make a great figure for this figure, for the ghost face figure. Um, yeah, he, I look at him, dude. He, I cannot stop looking at him with the scythe and the burnt mask. I 
think it's a burnt mask, but you guys can let me know in the comments of what the heck this mask is supposed to be. But, oh, now he wants to stand without the box. Alright, ghost face. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will continue to do more videos like this. I really enjoy them a lot, so thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.